Hey everyone, today's video is just a quick one. It's about Anthony Riley, aka Sleeping Warrior's latest fail. It shows how important proper research is. Riley wanted to talk about Leon Foucault, the guy who made that famous pendulum that flat earthers hate, but he picked the wrong person. Let's watch that video. Paul Michel Foucault, the guy we all know for the pendulum effect. it shows the rotation of the earth. What do we know about Foucault? Not that much really. French, pendulums, that's about it. That's all we know about him. This is the guy. He died in uh, 1988, uh, 1984, aged 57. Does anybody know what he died of? I didn't know what he died of. Presumably old age. There's not that much in it, but for the fact that he was gay, openly gay, he died of HIV, and that's about as much as you can tell. Everything else in here is generally it's not that, you know, not that interesting, there's not that much in it. One thing I want to show you is that if you do a control and F in here and type in pendulum, no mention of the pendulum. Foucault's pendulum is supposed to show the rotation of the earth. Wouldn't you think that if that was true, it would at least get a mention in his Wikipedia page? Interesting that it's not even mentioned. But nonetheless, there is something that goes a little bit, little bit further that I found in a clip that I was watching. How's about this for a character witness? Okay. Althusser Foucault Derrida. Three professors at the École Normale Supérieure, ENS. Each taught the other in a kind of Parisian grand guignol of the history of ideas. First of all, Althusser, he was a structuralist Marxist who was already suffering from mental breakdowns in the late 1940s. In 1980, he murdered his own wife by strangling her, but he escaped a trial and possibly the guillotine by commitment to an insane asylum. His student. He, he recruited a young provincial pederast named Michel Foucault, a leading light of postmodernism in his own right. Foucault's time at the ENS alternated between attempted suicide and attempted homicide. Foucault started off as a Nietzschean Marxist and allegedly was a speechwriter, a ghostwriter, for Jean Canapa of the Politburo of the Stalinist French Communist Party. Foucault has developed the doctrine that we are all deviants. This was picked up by R.D. Lang and other exponents of anti-psychiatry and used in their cost-cutting campaign to shut down the mental hospitals. The mentally ill who were thrown out on the streets to become homeless and to freeze to death can thank Foucault. Foucault later became a Maoist. He preached mass extermination on the Pol Pot model. Later in his life, in the 70s, he discovered the San Francisco Nazis in leather sadomaso scene at such dens of perversion as the barracks in the Folsom District. He went on LSD trips in Death Valley. He frequented gay bars long after he had become aware that he had contracted AIDS, deliberately infected others, and finally died of AIDS in 1984. In his last phase, he elaborated his own similarity to the cynic philosopher Diogenes for reasons that undoubtedly include the approval by Diogenes of counterfeiting, cannibalism, incest, and the practice of public masturbation. In Foucault's book, Les Mots et les Choses, or The Order of Things, Foucault predicted that all notions of mankind and humanity were destined to be effaced, like a face drawn in sand at the edge of the sea when the tide comes in. So humanity is on its way out. And uh, you guys think that this thing proves that the Earth rotates? <laughs> really? Yeah. As you can see, he was talking about Michel Foucault, who A, lived at a complete different time, and B, was missing all information about the pendulum. Both should have been big red flags. Anthony missed all of that and made his video. He got caught and tried to play it down as a minor mistake and even tried to act as there was never a video. But no, 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 Anthony, this was a gigantic mistake. 
Think about the stuff you took time to point out and wanted to pin on the wrong Foucault. On top of that, even if this would have been the right person, if all of that was true, it absolutely would not at all invalidate the pendulum itself. It still works. If we sum that up, this was nothing more than a very pathetic try to discredit the work of an innocent person. This is the very reason why it is important that there are flat earth debunkers. Flat earthers' mistakes need to be corrected or stupid people will run with these fake news. Everyone makes mistakes, but the response cannot be to play it down or even deny that it exists. I think this is all I have to say about this fuck up. Now some quick news to my channel. The reason why there was such a long time since my last video is that I wanted to make a video about flat earths and symptoms of mental disorders and I absolutely underestimated the amount of footage I had to go through for this. I need to do more than one video. The first one is almost done and follows soon. There will also be more videos about other topics because flat earth is so repetitive. It's not easy to find new flat earth stuff to make videos about. I will of course continue to make rants about flat tuts. I just want to expand the topic area. And with that I'll end today's video. Thanks for watching, bye bye and stay tuned.